Dit is Papa Alfa 0, ik hoor Tingo Echo voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 24 juli 2016. Dit is het beurt van zondag. In deze uitzending uiteraard Mosse en een bijzonder indrukwekkend SSTV plaatje in PD90. Het nieuws van gisteren. As always on Sundays and of course because of that our Monday morning repeat, our bulletin is in English. Today we have some DX and in addition to that we have part 2 of our series on shortwave propagation. We also have some Morse code and a particularly impressive SSTV image in PD90. And welcome to the DX Talk podcast of the GP2RS National News. And now the DX News, compiled from 425 DX News and other sources. A group of operators will put Delta Romeo Zero Foxtrot on the air from the island of Newark, that's Echo Uniform 127 on the IOTA codes, from the 28th of July to the 1st of August. Now that includes the IOTA contest as well, and you can QSL via the Bureau to Delta Mike 4 Delta Lima. A large group of operators will be active from Yijiangshan Island, and the IOTA reference there is Alpha Sierra 141. From the 26th of July to the 1st of August, they will sign Bravo 5 slash home call and plan to operate SSB, CW and Digi modes with two stations on the 6 to 80 metre bands. QSL via home call signs, and the group will also be participating in the IOTA contest as Bravo 5 Charlie. QSL via Bravo Alpha 4, Tango Bravo. The Chilean Day Expedition team will be active as X-Ray Romeo 1 Tango from Santa Maria Island, that's Sierra Alpha 069, from the 28th of July to the 1st of August. Also, they will be doing the IOTA contest and they'll be operating CW, SSB and digital modes on all bands. And you can QSL via Charlie Echo 3 Oscar Papa or direct or via the Bureau using OQRS. Janez Sierra 53 Victor will be on the air as 9 Alpha 8 Charlie Victor from Kirk Island, that's IOTA reference Echo Uniform 136, from the 24th of July to the 3rd of August. Now, this also includes an entry in the RSGB IOTA contest, and QSL is via the operator's instructions. Tarke, Juliet Golf 8 November Quebec Juliet is on the air as Juliet Golf 8 November Quebec Juliet slash Juliet Delta 1 from Marcus Island for a couple of months while there to service the weather station. Activity will be in his spare time on 20, 15, 10 and 6 metres using CW and RTTY and QSL direct to Juliet Alpha 8, Charlie, Juliet Yankee. Kilo Charlie Zero Whiskey will be active from Tuvalu July 21st until August 18 as Tango 2 Charlie Oscar Whiskey. He will be operating 160 to 6 meters CW. Lima Whiskey 9 Delta Tango Romeo will be active from Nigeria August 6 and 7 as 5 November stroke Lima Whiskey 9 Delta Tango Romeo. QTH will be Ilobu Town of Osogbo. Osun State. He will be operating on 20, 15, 10 meters single sideband and JT65. Victor Kilo 3, Victor Tango Hotel will be active again from King Island August 18 until 22 as Victor Kilo 3, Victor Tango Hotel stroke 7. He will be active on 20 and 40 meters SSB only. Australian King Island is located northwest of Tasmania around halfway between Tasmania and Victoria. Whiskey Bravo Zero Tango Echo Victor will be active from Belize August 19 until 23 as Victor 31 Victor Papa. QTH will be Blackman Eddy Village. He will be operating on HF bands including activity in North American QSO Party SSB and SARTG RTTY contest. Italy Kilo 7 Yankee Tango Tango will be active again from Macau August 29 until September 5 as X-Ray X-Ray 9 Tango Yankee Tango. He will be operating on 80 to 10 meters and will be participating in all Asian DX SSB contests September 3 and 4. QDH will be Colorado Island. Four US hams will be active from Martinique Island October 29 until November 4 as Foxtrot Mike stroke November 7 Bravo Foxtrot, Foxtrot Mike stroke Whiskey Tango 4 Bravo Tango, Tango Oscar 4 Oscar Charlie, Tango Oscar 6 Alpha Bravo Mike. They will be operating 40 to 10 meters single sideband and digital modes. 
across the path. Mm -hmm. Now, that could be the direct path, or it could be the path around the back. The uh, long path could be in common sunshine, although that's less likely because it's further apart, usually. Now, are we talking about the higher frequencies in this? The higher frequencies. Right, because 80 meters isn't going to work. Exactly right. (laughs) The problem with 80 meters and 160 meters is that the same ionization that that ionizes the F layer also ionizes the D layer, which is between it and the Earth. And the problem with that is the D layer tends to attenuate signals on 80 and 160 meters, sometimes 40 meters as well, which is sort of in between, and they won't get through. So the same sunlight that makes it possible to make that contact on 15 meters between those two points makes it impossible to have that contact on 160 or 80. Pretty much. Yeah, that's that's true. So what happens is uh, that's why 80 and 160 tend to be nighttime bands. Mm-hmm. And uh, 2015 and 10 and the other bands in that region tend to be daylight bands. Well, that's good. You have something to do either time. Mm-hmm. Um, and, of course, the, the best time is when the D layer hasn't gotten ionized yet and the F layer still is a little bit ionized. Yes. And that there's actually a time, that a kind of a magic time that's called the gray line. It's just oh, between yeah. daylight and night. And at that point, you do have the situation where the D layer, if you're getting towards the uh, from night to daylight, for example, the D layer hasn't yet gotten ionized. Mm -hmm. but there's enough ionization in the F layer to be able to get through. And you can actually get some amazing contacts along that path, along the uh, called terminator between day and night, which which is in a different place each day because of the tilt of the Earth. It changes mm-hmm. by season significant amount. So you can talk to different people, but it, it makes for a very interesting time. You practically have 15 or 20 minutes to operate in that because it doesn't have to be right. The Terminator doesn't have to be right above you. Even if it's off uh, some distance, your antenna can radiate into that area from where you mm-hmm. are. As long as you can get to that area, your signals can propagate through that or along it, and uh, you can get good performance then. So you don't have to stay up all night. You can, no, if you get no. up early, I have a little problem with that because my dog wants to walk during <laughs> gray line and <laughs> is this why the 160 and 80 meter enthusiasts get up so awfully early in the morning to to workstations is a gray line they're chasing i wouldn't be surprised i don't get up that early myself and now that i'm <laughs> retired so to speak <laughs> sort of retired in fact if i didn't have a dog i probably wouldn't get up at all <laughs> but uh but I'm sure that has something to do with it. And that, you know, a much more productive time than staying up all night. Mm-hmm. So if you hit it at just uh, just before sunrise and just before sunset, you may have some very nice propagation along the gray line. Yes, I, I've seen some very spooky things happen uh, propagation-wise during that time. Yep. Uh, remarkable stuff. So again, it's good to understand how this works so you can focus your time to where it'll do the most good. And that's a very good place to focus. Mm-hmm. Very good.
Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks om 1900 uur te beluisteren op PI2 NOS en s ochtends om half elf. Aanvullende informatie bij de uitzendingen is te vinden op www.pa0ete.nl. Wil verder gerust je tips, commentaar en desnoods priet praten naar xapenstaartjexdv.me. Nou, dat weten we dan ook weer. Ja, interessant. En morgen begint de werkweek weer. Heb je ook zo'n zin om weer te beginnen? Ja, echt wel. Maar niet heus. Heb je zin in koffie? Ja, lekker.